It looks really unsafe. Probably snap at any minute. Can't believe it didn't last longer. We're definitely gonna have to change it. We bought this anchor chain just before we left Florida three years ago. I didn't really think about what type I was getting. I just bought the standard West Marine chain. Not giving it a second thought or realizing that we had to do our due diligence and getting chain that was to a specific standard. But well, now we're left with this crap. Rusting, making our deck dirty, making our sails dirty. We've got to find a better chain. Hopefully we can find it here in the USVIs. So don't be like us. Do your research because this chain is probably just a little bit less expensive than the stuff that we need to get. When we first started sailing, we had no idea if we were even gonna like it. So if we didn't like it, it would have been a great purchase. But since we've kind of fallen in love with sailing, we need something that will hold us in place because that is our insurance. believe I was sleeping with this chain. How was I sleeping with this chain looking like this? <laughs> but now I'm gonna sleep good. <laughs> Look at this, how pretty it is. If I remember right, when we first got this chain, it looked like this. So I could see why people don't know the difference between the two. A way to find good chain is if you ask around to other sailors for a reputable place. And that's why we went with the person that we went with here in the USVIs because we got onto the Facebook forum, asked all the different sailors out here who they recommended, and this guy came highly recommended. So if you're in the USVIs, look up Lighthouse Marine, they've got the chain. And it ended up only being a dollar more than that stuff. And this should last way, way longer. Probably worry about this later and get them. Bye-bye. Wish me luck. <laughs> For the second time. <laughs> I'm so excited. When we sailed into uh, USVIs from Saba, we ripped our Genoa, which happens to be the second to last sail that we have, if you don't count our storm jib. And our 100% jib is a used sail, so who knows how long it's got left. We knew that the Genoa was ready and almost on its last leg, so we had perfect timing for it to hit while we were in the USBIs. I was going back to the States. I figured I could maybe look for something there at a sail loft, but luck has it. <laughs> Not more than a day later, we get an email from Anne. Anne has the same exact boat as Sersha, Villagent and they went to Roller Furler not too long ago. They have three Hank on sales just laying around waiting to, for them to be sent to a good home. And when she reached out, I almost cried. <laughs> Actually, I probably did, if you know me. While I was back, I was in contact with Anne. She put them in the mail for us and we've been waiting on them forever, it seems as though. We've been waiting so we can go down to St. Croix, but we didn't want to leave here until we got the sales. So now we can actually move, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Anne. <laughs> oh, I hear a dinghy motor. <laughs> Special delivery. 100% jib, 150, and the Mac Daddy, 180. Our new big boy. <laughs> well, actually, the 150 is heavier it's our big, than yeah. And you get to that chain <laughs> and then we got to hoist the motor and hoist the dinghy because we're going to St. Croix what are you doing gotta get this anchor chain off this deck it's nasty 
But I think I'm gonna cut it in half and just split it between the two buckets. That way it's a lot lighter. And we gotta get this anchor up so you yeah. can change it. I figure we could probably just motor up to it, pull the anchor and we drift around for a little bit. You can try to keep us in the same spot. Okay. The switch should only take about 10 minutes. Success? Success! That didn't take long. <laughs> Not very much success on walking. <laughs> no. I do that somewhat okay. Now we just gotta get this dinghy motor up. And the dinghy. You guys like my little contraption I got going on here? This is our new dinghy hoist. Haven't tested it out yet, but I can do pull-ups on it, so it'll definitely be able to handle the motor. Now we just have to set up a little purchase system. That way we can get this guy on our little motor plate. Not that this setup is shady by any means, but <laughs> he's now currently trying to put together a harness using dock line. Do what you can with what you got. That's right, <laughs> our motto. That should be on a t-shirt. Yeah, it should. However, I am hoping to be able to get together a hoist. We have some material, I just need to get it sewn together and we will have a proper, oh, this is really close, a proper hoist harness <laughs> so we don't have to go through this and we'll have a dedicated harness instead of trying to use dock line. But hopefully we will succeed in this process because I don't know what else we're gonna do. How are you guys raising your your big old dean motors? So while he wraps this up, literally, I'm gonna go inside and start some keto bread for our trip tomorrow. All right, here are the ingredients. One half cup coconut flour, one third cup ground flaxseed, one teaspoon baking powder, and one teaspoon baking soda, a half a cup of coconut oil, one third cup coconut milk, two tablespoons of vinegar, and four eggs. So all we need to do is separate the eggs. For keto bread, it tends to be very flat. Ooh, this is a big one. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually blend the egg whites to make it more fluffy. Outside of the egg whites, you just throw everything in the bowl. Everything but the egg whites. Forgot the vinegar. <laughs> this is Bo's secret ingredient, is the vinegar and baking soda because it gives it a little bit extra fluff as well. Typically, it's Bo's job to whip the egg whites, but since he's unavailable at the moment, I looked up on YouTube that I could actually do it with the emergent blender, so this is my first time. Hopefully it works. Love. What? Can I get your help? What? Can I get your help? I'm in the middle of whipping eggs, one second. <laughs> the guy on the YouTube said it was much faster than that. It didn't do very well for me, so. I'm just gonna stick to bow whipping them for the future. You don't have to have egg whites whipped in order to make this, but I'm gonna throw this in and go help him, and then I'll come back and throw it in the oven. Here we go. So you're gonna slowly raise it on the winch, and I'm gonna guide it down here. Woo! That'll work out. We just, once it, we get it over this, then you're gonna slowly lower it to where it rests on this, okay. and then then you're gonna just kind of snug it, and okay. then we'll tighten the bolts. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold okay. up. All right. Let it loose, let it loose. All right, the first try did not go quite as planned, so try number two. We just needed to tighten the line, that's all. No big deal. Yep. Yeah. All right, we have success. The ship has landed. Yay! It did require a little bit of brute force. Unfortunately, my little rig here is too short. So we had to lift it probably, what, six inches? Um, while he finishes that, I'm gonna go finish the bread. So I didn't give up. I'm actually trying my frother that we recently got. So it actually worked a lot better. And I think maybe I just wasn't putting enough air in it. 
You almost want that white to stay in there. So we have been slowly adding recipes to a cookbook that we have thought about maybe creating. If you guys have any recipes or ideas that you would like to see us create or something that you've seen us do in the beginning, or if you've seen us do, let us know and we'll try to add it to it if we have time to do that. <laughs> also, look at this. Got a silicone bread holder container because ours rusted out. Yummy. <laughs> the wind's gonna be pretty gusty. There's a lot of squalls happening this morning and probably gonna happen all day. <laughs> You'll just be getting a nice shower today. Yeah. <laughs> nice, free, cold shower. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain on me that much, but we'll <laughs> see. So we're just gonna fly the smaller jib. So excited to have these new sails. The wind should be 15 steady, gusting up to 22. It'll be a nice beam reach, which we don't get a lot of. So I'm- um, My favorite. Yeah, it's gonna be a good sail. It's about 38 miles away. So hopefully we can get there before the sunset. One of the biggest reasons that we're heading back to St. Croix is now that we are scuba certified, we really, really wanna dive the pier that they have there. And it is supposed to be spectacular. And Mandy and John are there. And we're hoping, since Mandy's an instructor, she can safely take us on our very first night dive. Opening this guy for the first time. Yesterday I took a peek. And look at this. It looks brand new. You can't tell. I'm super excited. <laughs> oh man, look at these hanks. Woo! Nice and oiled. Hood. Australian. Quality. We're gonna give it a minute. Got a nice gray rain cloud coming. Gonna take this opportunity to make some snacks. <laughs> A little sausage and cheese and some green olives. I really like this bay. It just <laughs> the airplanes coming in and out make it a little bit hard to uh, actually film because they're really loud. But it's a, a local speech, so. It's very quiet, not a lot of big charters coming in. Here comes a plane right now. <laughs> These two markers are the do not go any closer to the runway markers. That way your mast doesn't get clipped by a plane. So the waves have picked up quite significantly more and so as the wind we just hit eight knots <laughs> and Bo is outside getting splashed with waves. Fun times <laughs> but it's been nice it's been a nice sail. I mean we're getting beam reach outside of seaweed catching on our line and waves hitting us not too bad.
Snack time, lovey. Thank you. You deep, deep in thought over here? Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking about? The other day when we found the website with Sersha on it. So I just pulled up a website and Sersha is still listed for sale if you guys want to buy her. She's $3,000. <laughs> She's in Stewart, Florida. Whoa. And she had nothing. Look at her. She is bare bones. Bare bones and the, all the gel coat is crazed. Aw, blue jacket. Well, the other day we just kind of ended up on a page and saw Sersha. And it was the old listing that we found when we were looking for boats. And looking at her now, from where we've been, it's just, I can't even believe it. Sersha was the third boat we looked at? Yeah. And she had nothing, nothing. If you see the picture, she's got no Bimini, no, no Dodger, things that we didn't even know really that we should look for, I think. I don't know, I mean. No, nah, I, I think it was more of the fact that she was more of a blank canvas. Yeah. We wanted to have the freedom to build her up, yeah. right? Yeah. Just so, like, she had a lot of character. <laughs> a lot of character, <laughs> a lot of crazing, a lot of character. Yeah. We walked in and yeah. I was just like, she's it, she's the one. So we left with the bare minimum. We worked with what we had, and then along the way, we gained other things to make it a little more comfortable. Like Wilson, our autopilot, our friends Billy and Sierra from Tools in the Summer, they gave us that. We have a brand new VHF because our friends off of SV, SV Bacchus couldn't hear our radio transmission to them, so they gave us that. I did, there's been so many things that people have given us that personally I love that our boat, that Sersha is. It's a collection of people's our, generosity. And our community, it's yeah. just been amazing. And having this channel has opened up so many friendships that we would have never have been able to create if we didn't have this channel. We're just so grateful for that. It, just so grateful. Just watching Brandy comment back and forth with you guys and how much joy it brings her. It's, <laughs> it's great to be a part of. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you to everybody out there who's, who have donated, who have um, watched. <laughs> watched, sent us stuff, liked, Commented, Subscribed. shared, everything. <laughs> our patrons are a huge part of a community that allow us to keep doing this. You guys, by just watching, allow us to keep creating this content. But we're about halfway there. You can see the shadow of St. Croix. Super lucky. <laughs> Glad we could outrun it. But we did get hit with that gust. Glad you put the reef in though. Yeah. We could have used another one, but we could probably use another one right now. Here we go again, folks. Another storm. I was putting in another reef. I don't think we're gonna outrun this one. through that storm I hid inside Bo got a nice little cold shower that wasn't that bad yeah we actually surpassed the dark one so that was good we just got a little side rain that wasn't too bad all of this coast so we're hitting in St. Croix right now all this coast is just covered by dice they're there they're there we're 
Right there. See him, see him, see him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, all this area is just covered by dive sites. And one of the main reasons that we're coming here is to dive the pier. I can't concentrate because of the, the dolphins. Sorry. <laughs> so, because there's no wind, we are motoring while our sails flap around. Well, actually, there's a little bit of wind now, huh? You don't want to lower the dinghy? No. Okay, I'll paddleboard. I think we should paddleboard everywhere instead of needing to lower that dinghy motor. <laughs> Thanks again, Mike and Brittany, for those amazing paddleboards. We are gonna sail on to anchor. Pretty calm right now. Pretty empty anchorage as well, so. Yeah, we're caught. To whomever gave us this off of our wish list, Thank you very, very much. Oh, and this is Bo's garden. <laughs> it's a stick, a little bit of cilantro, and he's trying to go cauliflower. This is actually Tyler Basil. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good in here. What you making us? A little bit of pork chops. And some fried onion and sauerkraut. I feel so much better now that we all ha have all these sails. <laughs> like we can literally fly, we can literally sail in any kind we of weather. We can literally fly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Yeah. And plus, having this new anchor chain, we're set. We're pretty much ready for Bon Air, huh? Yeah, I think so. Just getting down there to get hold of. Yeah. But we got a lot of fun stuff coming up here in St. Croix. So be sure you guys subscribe so you can check it out. And hit that like button if you like this video. And also let us know if you want any of the recipes. This is going to be our new motor hoist. Until we can buy one that's like a legit one. That trucker really is excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> Airplane brake. And making her debut, the little lady. Or not. <laughs> The wind is going to be pretty fickle today. It's going to be like... Is that my hair? Yeah, it's your hair. <laughs> Brandy hair. It gets into everything. Especially food. Oh. Sorry, Libby. <laughs> wanted to be able to make her what we wanted. We wanted to... <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Would you guys like to see us go on a night dive? It's going to be epic. Epic. <laughs> Epic. Epic. Da, da, da.